Hey everyone, hello, 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 hello. It is the Libra full moon. And so we are going to do a pick a card. And for those of you in my Guidance 311 group, the choices have been up. And so now it's about getting the reveal. So here it is. So I just wanted to say a little bit about this Libra full moon. It is gonna be a pink full moon. So it is about bringing balance and harmony into the area of love. So I'm gonna be using the Psychic Tarot for the Heart by John Holland, and then um, backing that up with some other very heart-centered decks. So we can kind of get an overview of what the next couple of weeks or month um, is gonna look for us in regards to this full moon and the energies that are happening right now. So, with that being said, if you chose pile number one, and there will be tam time stamps below, I'm going to hope that I can get through this with my voice. Um, I'm noticing it's already kind of petering out on me. So, um, I have not got the COVID. I did do a home test but uh, I've definitely been under the weather with a lot of sinus and throat stuff. So we're gonna get through this today. All right, so if you chose pile number one, the overarching message for you is, I love it, thoughts create your reality. Thoughts create your reality. It's about starting to get into this, really believing that you can have, you can achieve, you can receive. And when we uh, think negatively, we impact ourselves negatively, that thoughts do become your reality. But more than that, um, what I'm feeling with this card is thoughts also become your emotions and your emotions and your thoughts create your reality. So for those of you who chose pile number one, it's time to really drop down into your heart Really think about those negative self-talk patterns that are going on in the mental body and how are they negatively impacting your heart space, your emotions, right? So you can change your thoughts, change your thoughts into believing that you can achieve and receive what it is that the universe is bringing for you. And so pile number one is going to be really important for you to really get clear about how you think about things. What are your thought patterns? What are the thoughts that are coming into your experience that you're not really paying attention to, right? You're just letting the thoughts kind of take over. You're letting the thoughts come in and they're not serving you. They're the old paradigm, the old story. And now it's time to get into the new, right? So really pile number one, it's time to think about how you're thinking about things. Oof, okay, yeah. It's about embracing the new that's coming in. It's about embracing the new emotional experiences that are being created by the new thought patterns, okay? Because in this uh, energy, right, you've got some real big energies coming through that are bringing you inspiration. They're bringing you information. They're bringing you messages. So whether they're bringing you messages through your crown chakra or whether they're mis bringing you messages through your third eye chakra, they're bringing you really impactful messages. And for many of you, this Libra full moon might be opening up your crown chakra and your third eye chakra in a way that maybe, excuse me, it's never been opened before. So I feel like you are gonna start receiving inspiration, intuition, that is going to lead you down a new path. It's gonna lead you in a new direction, right? So it's gonna be really important for you not to think those negative thought patterns of, I've never received it before, I've never achieved it before, that's never been my road before, right? We're letting go of the before. We're getting into creating our new emotional experiences through receiving the inspiration that spirit is bringing us. Bringing in the clairvoyance, bringing in that third eye knowingness. For some of you, you're gonna be re receiving daydreams or nighttime dreams that are bringing you premonition, what the future is holding, what the future can and will hold, as long as you stay in that positive vibrational state and not thinking yourself out of it, not letting yourself be um, talked out of anything, but embracing everything that is coming for you. 
Because pile number one, it is time to trust the universe. In tr in, it's time to embrace the signs and symbols, the intuitive dreams, the messages, the inspiration. So right now, it's not the right time to talk yourself out of anything. It's not the right time to talk yourself into staying into something that doesn't serve you anymore. It's not the right time to be holding yourself back. Because pile number one, what is coming for you whew, is true love. That this is the romance of a lifetime coming in. But you have to pay attention to the red flags. There are signs that are cautioning you. So where the signs that are cautioning you are showing up, that's not your road. If there's any hesitation in your vibrational field in a relationship, whatever that relationship is, that is not your road. Your road is the one that is all go forward. So as you release the past, you're going to heal. You experience more love in the present moments. Whew, so yeah, it feels like this true love that's coming in for you is about you paying attention to the red flags in any relationships of the past or any relationships that you're currently in that aren't serving you. Because it feels like this full moon is bringing you true love in a new form. In a new form. So in pile number one, it's not the right time to stay in something that doesn't serve you. It's not the right time to play small. It's time to embrace and get into the inspiration and the intuition that your psychic senses are bringing to you. Your other senses are ramping up for you. Sorry guys. Yeah, pile number one, it is time. It is time to know that you are being brought everything that is for you and so get grounded open your heart receive the inspiration receive the the messages from spirit i mean look at this you've got the lotus flower and the crown chakra came out first so spirit is saying we're we're inspiring you we're here for you we're giving you the messages are you hearing us are you feeling us or are you allowing those mental thought patterns to get in your way? Are you letting those mental thought patterns keep you playing small? So pile number one is going to be really, really important for you to understand that you are not your thoughts. You are the awareness behind your thoughts and it's time to become aware of that so that you can start receiving everything that is for you and not letting those thoughts dictate anything because that's just your fear-based ego trying to keep you small and playing safe. It doesn't want you stepping out of your comfort zone. It doesn't want you going in a new direction. That feels uncomfortable to that ego. But it's time to drop down into your heart, into your emotions, and go where you know you're being led to go. And where the red flags are in any relationship, that is time to walk away. That is not going to change. It's time for you to love yourself and know it's not the right time to stay. It's not the right time to play small. It's not the right time to accept what you've been accepting that hasn't changed. It's time to get inspired and embrace that inspiration. And if you're not sure what the inspiration is, get quiet. Spirit will tell you. Spirit will help you feel it. They'll help you know it. They'll bring it to you in the way that you can receive it. They'll bring you the signs. They'll bring you the symbols. All you have to do is ask. All right. Whew, pile number one. Big, big, big message. Sending you so much love and so many blessings. Thank you for being here. Whew. All right. Pile number two, are you ready? Pile number two, 
Are you ready? The overarching message is possess self-confidence. So I've been hearing spirits say things like, you've got this. Like, you know. But you're letting the doubt and the fear overcome your confidence. So it's time to get confident. It's time to step into your confidence and be confident. Because as you exude confidence, it's going to help you match up with the situations and the relationships that are going to be for you. It's going to help you manifest the things that are going to be what works for you. So you've got to possess self-confidence. Oh gosh, look at that, the first card out. Yeah, because it's time for you to shine. Look at that. It's time for you to shine your magnificence, your divinity, your sovereignty, who you are. The energy that you're bringing to the earth plane at this time. Your love, your devotion, your open-heartedness, your very specialness is what's needed at this time. But if you're staying in the background because you're not being confident about who you are and what you want, you're not shining. You're not shining. Yeah, it's time to seek the truth. If you've got someone who's trying to dim your sparkle, is what I'm hearing, don't dim your sparkle. Be confident. So if there's something within you or something in the outside and your external that's dimming your sparkle, it's time to seek the truth. What is behind that? Why is that person not allowing me be, to be confident? Or why am I not allowing myself to be confident? You know, I really feel like this is about you getting in touch with your own magnificence and your own divinity and your own sovereignty. This isn't really about anybody else, pile number two. This is about you being confident. You possessing your self-confidence. This isn't about anybody else. This is about you going within and saying, why am I holding myself back? Where am I dimming my sparkle for anyone else? So look at this, pile number two. I have to observe my thoughts. I have to observe my actions. I have to observe my beliefs. I have to really look at myself. Where am I holding myself back? Where am I telling myself no when I want to go forward? I need to step back and observe my motives. Am I letting the fear dictate my life? Am I letting the fear hold me back in a way that no longer serves me? I need to drop down into my heart. And you did get a fourth card. This one wanted to come out behind it and now I know why. Because it's time for you to blossom. It's time for you to observe where you're holding yourself back. Because it's time for you to blossom your light. To shine. To bring forth your gifts and talents and who you are. Your magnificence, your divinity, your sovereignty, your specialness. Nobody can bring it forth but you. So where you're not being confident, it's time to get confident. And if you're not sure how to do that, ask. Ask your team of guides, angels, and ascended masters, how do I get confident? How do I love myself? How do I possess self-confidence that's going to shine forth? How do I learn that I am part of a sacred plan that you have for me and I'm not living the plan or even getting on the road to the plan because I'm still playing small. I'm still telling myself I'm not good enough. I'm still telling myself I can't. I'm still telling myself I'm not able to take that step. I'm not able to make that change. I'm not able to go in that new direction. I'm not good enough. I'm not special enough. And Spirit's like, yes, you are. Because what you want, where you need to shine, what you need to blossom in your life experience at this time, whether it's putting together a new business, whether it's putting together a new relationship, whatever you're bringing forth from your passion, from who you are, your divinity, that's what's needed. It's time to take a step on the path. This is a path, look at this, look at this. It's a path, right? It's a path. 
They need you to get on the step. They need you to take the first step in shining your light. Pile number two. It's time to shine your light. Look at that. You have this beautiful, magnificent light, passion, inspiration. But it's time to observe why you're holding yourself back. What are the thought patterns? What are the actions that are not lining up with what you want? And make those changes. Because in a year from now, your life is going to look completely different. And do you want to be the manifester of that, that change? Do you want to be where you want to be in a year from now? Or do you want to be where you've been dumped because you didn't make the necessary steps? Right? You didn't reach out for the support. You didn't observe yourself and your thought process, your actions, your decision making, your spending habits, your eating habits, your uh, the people you put around you, pile number two. Are the people you putting around you supportive of you? Or are they critical? Because if they're critical and judgmental, they're not going to support you and you're not going to get where you want to be. But if you've got love flowing around you, and the people that are around you and the situations around you are helping you possess your self-confidence, those are your people. Those are your people. Yeah. It's in time. It's time to get in touch with children. Your love is being affected by children. Whether it's that inner child inside of you that you're healing and saying, I'm going forth and doing what I want, not letting the old habits, the old fears, the old hurts, the old traumas hold me back. Or whether for some of you, you're starting your family or you're birthing that new project. It's all about the newness, creating the new. So getting to know each other, as you reveal your innermost selves to each other, your bond deepens. For some of you, yes, it is about getting into connection with someone. Whether you're in a committed relationship or a brand new relationship, it's going to be really, really important to be vulnerable to that person and say, this is what I need to shine my magnificence, to, to step into my divinity and my sovereignty and shine my light. And for some of you, you're going to be revealing your innermost self to yourself. You've been holding that back. You've been holding that part of yourself back because it was too scary. It was too uncomfortable. Those traumas and dramas that were holding you back were stifling your magnificence. Yeah. Boom, there it is. You are lovable. So pile number two, for some of you, you're going to be becoming lovable to someone new. And for some of you, you're going to be becoming lovable to yourself in a way that's going to allow you to just shine brightly. Shine your magnificence, shine your divinity, shine your gifts, shine your talents. Blossom and bird that new part of you. It's like you've been holding yourself back for a long time and now it's time to just shoot forward to, to go. A year from now, everything is going to look different, number two. Do you want to be part of co-creating that reality? Or do you want to end up somewhere you don't want to be? That's what this full moon is revealing to you. What do you want to co-create? Or do you want to end up with another go-round of being in a situation you absolutely abhor? But you've been dealing with it because you felt like there was nothing better, right? You didn't deserve anything better. And now the universe is like, nope. Possess that self-confidence. Shine your magnificence. Because this is who you truly are. One with the divine. One with the universe. Ready to shine. And to step into your sacred plan. That co-creates with... The universe, God consciousness, Christ consciousness, goddess, whatever you believe in, it's time to partner and co-create your reality. Whew, number two. 
That was awesome. Whew, all right, number three. Here we go, number three. Number three, it starts with, ooh, there it is, the law of attraction, right? Like attracts like. You've got to start really thinking about how you think and really thinking about the emotions you're allowing yourself to feel. Are you still holding on to those traumas and dramas? That past that no longer serves you? Those relationships where those words cut you deep? Those people that were unsupportive? It's time to get into recognizing how you're thinking and feeling so that you can start raising your vibrational frequency and manifesting the life that you want. It's time pile number three. It's time. It's time to look up and start seeing your value, seeing your worth, seeing your gifts, seeing your talents. That's what this is all about, pile number three. This full moon is going to start showing you what you're, you're refusing to look at, okay? What you're refusing to see about yourself. So there may be situations in this next month that really reveal themselves to you. Where it's not working. Why it's not working. Why you keep ending up in these negative patterns because of the negative self-talk, because of the lack of self-worth, because of the powerlessness that you've allowed. Don't beat yourself up. Love yourself. Know that these are traumas and dramas that can be transformed, but we have to see them before we can transform them. So you've got to change your focus. on Away from what didn't work and start focusing on what you do have. What does work for you? And letting go of anything that doesn't work. It's time to change your focus and come into balance with yourself, with your shadow self, with your divine feminine, with your divine masculine. Pile number three, it's time. It's time to love the whole, whole, whole self. Not just your creative self, not just your organized self, but all of yourselves, right? See your worth, how beautiful you are, how talented you are, how giving you are, how accepting you are. And those are not faults. Those are positive aspects. And anybody that's making you feel like those are faults, it was nice knowing you. Gotta go. Because it's time. It's time to rebuild yourself. It's time to rebuild your energy, rebuild your heart space, rebuild your divinity, rebuild your connection to yourself, and thereby rebuilding your connection to your team of guides, angels, and ascended masters, and rebuilding your life. See your worth. Love yourself. This month is going to bring you a transformation, pile number three. That's really what it's all going to be about. It's all going to be about transformation. You've got to love yourself through it. You've got to understand that what you're going through is going to bring you to the other side in a better way. So even though it feels hard and it feels unfair and it feels unjust and it feels awful and it's icky and it's time. And the reason you're here is because you've been refusing to see your worth. You've been refusing to see what you bring to the table. And everybody it, it, that's been getting a seat at your table has been getting a free pass. And it's now time to have expectations of the people that seat at your table. Expectations of love. Expectations of respect. Of bringing balance to the table. Not just taking. Everything is showing up for you at the perfect time. It's all showing up for you at the perfect time, but you've got to start seeing your worth. You've got to start valuing yourself and loving yourself. Look at that hourglass in there. Balance. Divinity. Opportunity. Financial abundance. Love. You can have it all, but you've got to see where you're not seeing your gifts and talents, where you're not 
appreciating yourself and your self-worth. Yeah, because very soon, clearly decide what you want so that it comes to you now. Again, I love it. Synchronicity, synchronicity. Spirit brings us to us all the time. I gotta get it, I gotta get it, I gotta get it. Where is it? I know it's here, I know it's here. That's not the right one, that's the other pile. Where did it go? Where did it go? Look at that, look at that, yay! Like attracts like, clearly decide what you want so it comes to you now. Get clear about how important you are, how loving you are, how giving you are, how beautiful inside and out you are. Because you're gonna have a very strong magnetic connection. You're going to be able to express your love. But you can't do that if you don't draw to you the right person, right? So you've got to get into loving yourself. So the person that's coming in is going to love you no matter what, all your faults, all your foibles. But if they're not bringing a balanced energy, right? If they're only taking from you, they're not your person. They've got to give, but you've got to allow them to give. You've got to get into receiving. Pile number three, it's not about just being and doing for others. You've got to allow, see your worth and allow yourself to receive. Love, time, attention, gifts. You can't always be the giver. You've got to also be the receiver. Getting into balance. Pile number three. Like attracts like. You've got to change your vibrational frequency to attract what you want. You've got to love yourself. Get into gratitude. You are worth it. Thank you for being here. I'm sending you so much love and so many blessings. We'll talk to you soon.